Hello everyone, I'm Andre and in this episode of Drop Light Video Tutorials I'm going to show you how to achieve that cinematic aspect ratio that you see in movies. So just to give you a good comparison, I'm going to present you the most co common aspect ratios in the, in the industry. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve that in two different ways both of them easily achievable so the simplest one is by using a PNG file in your timeline so just go on uh, on Google and search for whatever aspect ratio you want and then put a PNG at the end so that you won't have any image here so I've made a short clip for you with three videos and some simple fades just to show you how that actually works so, in my project, you can already see that I have this PNG, the CinemaScope 2.35 PNG. I just drag it into my timeline and you can already see that it does the job for me. Uh, using the 2.35 aspect ratio or in general widescreen aspect ratios um, have an advantage because as you can he see here, um, the cards in this shot are pretty high. So, what I can do is go to my uh, clip and in the motion uh, video effects I can uh, reposition it. So, here's the uh, Y axis. So, just drag it up and you can see I have some more room to play with and now it's more central compared to how it was before. The other method that I've told you is the crop method. So just go to your effects tab, search for crop, drag it into whatever clip you want and just cut the top and the bottom of the clip. So let's say about 10% on the top and 10% on the bottom. You can already see the results. The problem with uh, this method is that you have to apply it to every clip unless you apply it to an adjustment layer. And as I've told you, this method also has the ability of being animated. So I'll go here, add a stopwatch to the top and the bottom, and then I'm just gonna go and apply like 50% here and 50% on the on the bottom and now you'll see what happens so I've created my own custom uh, animation so I hope you found this video useful if you did go give us a like and uh, check out some other tutorials and other videos as well on the drop light YouTube channel thanks for watching